we're headed to get comfortable with Polk, which happens to live right there by that big oak tree that you see. The lighting today is a little off given that it's bright. It's Memorial Day weekend, so it's hot and sunny. But once we get over there, you should be able to see her better. Go ahead and try to see if you can see her from here. And take note of any plants or animals or sounds you might hear, for this is Polk's larger ecosystem in my yard. In a moment, we'll walk closer, and as we do, keep note of anything that you might see or hear along our trip. Mm. And there she comes into view for you. When standing here, we can see a closer view of where Poke lives along with all the things that she lives with. Take a note of what plants you might notice or know that Poke happens to be living with, whether her leaves be touching, her roots be touching. Take note of what all happens to be here. What kind of light might it get in here? How might the water flow through here when it rains or gets watered? Does she look protected from the winds? What animals or insects might come through here? Let's get a little closer. Now that we're right here with the poke, take note of every detail that you can of this plant. Now, in case you haven't counted, there's more than just one over here. This is my poke patch, and I feel the need to take a moment and warn you that many people, if you look up poke, will tell you this plant is toxic. So, do your own research and decide whether or not you feel comfortable touching or working with poke. But, for this intents and purposes, we're going to get closer. So, now that you've looked at the whole bush. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that lovely stem way down there. Okay, we are now looking at the stem of the poke. I want you to know anything you can, any grooves, any notches, color, shape, texture, anything you can about the stem of the poke. Note any veins, lines, thorns, anything of that sort that you see, take note of. Also think, is there any insects or animals that we see that might have been through here? we can tell from looking at this bark or this stem. Okay, now we're going to pull out to the leaf arrangement. Okay, how are the leaves arranged on the poke? Are they across from each other? Are they all together? They're only leaves at the top of the plant, the bottom of the plant, all throughout the plant. Since it's a little hard to see in here, oh, let me see if I can get up. For the most part, the leaves of the poke tend to be towards the top of her. And in case you all haven't seen it, I don't know if we can see him. In all of this, we have a spider right there. But anyways, we're looking at the leaf arrangement. So look at how the leaves are arranged. <clears throat> this is the under canopy, in case you're wondering. I love this plant. I just love how it grows. Let's look at the leaf arrangement from up top now. So that you can know if you see any signs of animals or insects. And also so that you can see how the leaves are arranged from when you're up here. 
Now we'll come down here and let's pick this guy. Let's zoom in right here and see if we can get a good shot for you. I want you to note the edges of the leaves. How do the edges look? Are they smooth, jagged, sawtooth? What is that shaping? How do the edges of those leaves look? Then look at those valleys and veins. How are they shaped? How do they look? So we get a little breeze coming through here. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit so that you can see the overall shape of the leaf. Let's see if I can reach in there and turn it over for you so that you can see the back side. Again, some people will tell you this plant's toxic, so if you do not feel comfortable touching it, then please don't. Let's look at those nice veins, those leaves. Now let's look at how the flowers are arranged on the poke. We've got flowers right here. Let's go around and see. And so no, how are the flowers arranged? Are there lots of flowers? A few flowers? Is it just one flower per stem? Multiple flowers per stem? How do these flowers attach to the tree or the bush? Still not sure what to call poke at this point. It's as tall as I am. Okay, now let's actually zoom in and see if we can zoom in on one of these flowers. Which they're really small, so it might be hard. Oh, look at that. Awesome. So now take note of how many petals and stamens and anything else you can about the flower arrangement of poke. Now we're going to zoom out. I think I'm just going to pick this area right here for you. I want you to pick one feature of the poke to concentrate all of your effort on. Just let your mind wander with poke. Think about what you can do for this plant and what this plant can do for you. If you closed your eyes, go ahead and open them and bring yourself back to your surroundings. Now we're going to zoom out even further so that you can see this whole plant. Maybe. Okay, now that you can see the whole plant, we're going to draw it from memory. So either on a piece of paper or in your mind's eye, start from the ground and draw this plant all the way up. Remembering to note all the different things that you saw on the stem, how the leaves were arranged and what shapes they were, all the way up to the little flower buds. If you get to a spot that you can't remember, it's okay, just note it and we'll come back to it later. If you need more time, pause the video now. Okay, now take a few minutes to fill anything that you might have missed in. Feel free to rewind this video as many times as you need until you feel completely comfortable with poke. I highly encourage you doing this with the plants in your yard. For now, that ends our Get Comfortable with Poke and I'll see you next time. Take care.